Welcome back everyone to my Roman campaign. We're now on a new turn and we have more technology completed. I would like to pick up more replenishment. The Volsi will have probably another army on the way very soon. I've got to beat them and quickly. The VI would be nice to beat down on too. What I might do, I might beat the Volsi army, then go over to the VI and fight them. Oh, they have a fort. If I try to fight them now, we're going to lose a lot of men. I bet I could do it though. I should probably learn how to fight in a fort map. All right, here we go. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the VI and Rome's interaction with them. Their war with Rome began in 46 BC and it would be after Marcus came to power as a consular tribune that he would storm two allies of the VI, the Falari and Capena. In 398, he would loot Capena. All right, time to begin deployment. We'll keep the fog. Why don't I approach from two different directions? Not three, but two. I think two will work out. Okay, you're very cheap units and you will die for me in glorious combat. Swordsman, I'm going to put you on the other side. You'll fight together. Alright. You'll join on the front lines. Horsemen, I'm actually going to move you behind. Like, way behind. You'll take your time. Slingers, you'll be over here. Let's begin our battle now. So I want all of you to come over here, for sure. Then I want all of you to move up over here by the front gate. Absolutely. Let's kind of walk there. Horsemen, I want you to ride down here quickly. You can move later. Slingers, you'll move up too. Might use you later, but yeah, just move up. It won't be an easy battle, but maybe we can do something. I'll have to use my horsemen big time, but we're going to be in trouble. Those towers are going to be quite annoying too. I guess we're going to find out how this will all play out for me. I could burn down one gate and then charge in. Yeah, I might do it near my own line so that way we're not losing nearly as many men. Yeah. Anyway, in 396, whenever Rome would lose several battles, you would have Marcus named as dictator for the first time. He would go on to beat both of Vi's allies at Nepete, which is still a small town today. Then that's when he managed to break into VA by digging under their walls. All the men were killed, and all the children and women were enslaved, and he gained a lot of plunder. Did I say men and women? Anyway, children and women were enslaved. The men were killed. Yeah, the plebeians wanted to populate that town with a bunch of Romans. The patrician said no. That was a big deal. And he didn't give a tenth of his loot over at Delphi to Apollo, so many people were angry with him for that as well. Let's come over here now. And just begin to burn down parts of that blasted wall. Right over here. Just want to make sure that we burn down everything. I burned down that fourth tower too. That would be fantastic. If I could do that. I bring up more of you. I want group two to move up now. Move over here. Horsemen, you'll move in pretty soon. I don't know where yet, but you'll move in pretty soon. Let's move up a little bit more. Yeah, Camillus would oppose that plan himself. Oppose it until they just gave up. They said, all right, I guess we can't get this done. They said, forget about it. Come over here, too. We're going to burn down more parts of this blasted location. Go we'll after that location. Let's go burn down more of the wall. Over here. One in the middle, too. I don't think I would mind burning down that. You two will come over here and burn down that arrow tower. Very good. Yeah, form up your hoplite wall. You might as well do that now. Can I come in from behind? I don't really know yet. I doubt I can. I would have to try to find an easier way to enter. I guess we'll find out in a little bit. Come over here. I'm just going to burn down every single little thing. Can you go after that tower? Or is that not a thing that you can do from here? I don't really know. Anyway. Let's go after it. To come over here. Yeah, just burn down whatever you can. It's very important that we just burn down every portion of this location. As we begin to lose a few men to that tower. I'm not a fan. Okay, so let's see. That tower is now in trouble. Let's go take out that tower. We're going to go burn down more locations. Like that building, too. Plenty of fire damage. Fantastic. Nearly done taking out another location. Oh, their range attacks are destroying us. Let's go move in real quick. Oh, actually, that's a little weak point then. I like that. Let's go in. Let's go in and fight. You can see now where we can expose so many of them. Let's go charge in. I want to burn down more of this area. Go charge in. All of you over here. All of you would just kind of shift on over. Slingers, I want you to attack. Come on, let's go. 
Etruscan Spears, I know you're going to have a pretty tough time, but let's bring you in as well. I'm going to come over here. Alright, it's another tower gone. Let's move in. Need all of you over here. We can try to go flank more of them if we do that. I want to take one of their towers too. I think that would be nice to do. So let's go in. We're going to charge in. Oh, there's a Spears over here. Never mind. we got to watch out. Crap. I'm trying to find a good place to go so we can deny a few of them. I guess we'll take out the guys over here on this main line first. We can worry about other locations later. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, there's one exposed side. Very good. Let's come over here then. Come over here. That's what I was waiting for, I guess. We need to go flank all their range units and maybe disable more towers. Come over here real quick. More spearmen move in. I'm just going to go after all these infantry. Very good. We'll come over here too and help fight. Oh yeah, they're about to fall apart. They're not going to be for much longer. Why don't you go flank these native Volsi spearmen? Oh, hello. Guess what I get to go do? I get to go kill all these skirmishers now. All these mercenary Velites and friends. So not everyone's fighting, but if you look at it, I'm just all over the map. I should hopefully... If I use my horsemen enough, I might be able to win this. Oh yeah, these Velites killed 60 men. They killed a lot of men. A lot of my men are dead because of them. Yeah, anyway, so only Valeriae was left, and when Camillus was made Consular Tribune in 394, he would seize this chance to unite the two classes of Romans against one enemy. He would besiege Valeri, and in time peace was made, not only with these guys, but other nearby powers too, who were impressed with Rome. Alright, they're gone. Let's come over here now and go finish off these Velites. I've killed six of my horsemen. What a shame. Come over here now and kill more of them. If I could just finish off these guys, man, that would be ideal. That would be the best situation possible. I don't know if it is possible, but we're going to try to make it possible. Yeah, these Velites are going to fall apart pretty soon, hopefully. They're now losing. Man, they really did a lot of damage today. My poor Italian Cav. They're wavering, though. They're finally wavering. That charge did enough damage. Come on, break and get out. Break and get out. Because I'm losing this battle so far. It's a fun one that I'm losing. All right, those Italian skirmishers are done for. Let's come over here now. So we're going to get you from two different directions, but let's go get my horsemen in now. Let's come over here and go after these veteran swordsmen with my leader. If we can kill their leader, maybe they'll break quickly. Let's go charge in over here and kill some more Latin warriors. All right, come over here and take out that tower. I don't want that tower to keep on attacking my men. All right, let's see. What about my leader? He's killed 100. Oh, wow, those kills are soaring up. Very nice. Very, very nice. I feel like more of need to go charge in for sure. Okay, Italian horsemen, let's move you back. Oh, no, no, come over here, come over here. Don't run through. Just come over here. Yeah, more of these guys are going into break now. Very good, very good. Let's move back. I had a feeling this would be a bad battle, but oh, they were not kidding. Okay, Italian calf, come over here. Let's go after these spearmen from behind. Maybe if we charge in from behind, we can destroy them. Okay, let's go charge in over here again. We'll go after the veteran swordsman once more. I'm going to inspire my own general. These guys are still alive somehow. Let's move back. 209. Kills are now moving up. That was the point here. I try to break them. They're losing the battle now. If I kill a leader, who knows? They might all break and then I can eliminate the entire army. Are they going to be able to replenish a little bit faster than I can? Absolutely. They're going to certainly do that. Okay, we're taking out that location. Very good. Let's keep on looking. Still having a pretty tough fight. We haven't beaten these guys yet, have we? No, we have not. Let's come over here then. We can come over here and... Actually, you know what? Let's go after these native spearmen again. No, they're doing way too much damage. I don't think I can, I can keep up with that. My leader will move back. He's killed 278 now. Let's go charge in over here and go chase after these Italian spearmen who are now beginning to waver. We didn't wipe out their leader yet, did we? No, we did not. Let's push in a little bit more. Or if we did, then that's fine. Alright, let's get ready to go after these spearmen. Did you take it? You took it. Good work. Let's go over here to get the other tower now. I'm going to try to rebuild my army quickly if I can, but we'll see. We're charging in over here to go after more spearmen from behind. If it wasn't for him, we would have lost this battle a long time ago. He's done such a good job at keeping us alive. There's more skirmishers in that group. Did we break him yet? We did not. Yeah, these spears are holding up. Kill 314. We're at 70 left. I'm sure that's going to change soon. We need to move. 
Okay, horsemen, let's go charge in over here and go kill some of their tribesmen. You're at 315. Good work. Let's go charge again over here. There's only 56 left. We've still got a few guys here breaking. You've only killed 27. The fog is probably not helping, I'm sure. What's he doing? Man, look at that. We finally got them. Yeah, their spearmen are pretty tough. The Volsi spearmen have decent stats for sure. But now they're done. We've won the battle. Alright, we have some enemies that are beginning to flee, it looks like. Let's go chase after them. They're shattered. Let's go get them. They all want to... Oh, God, we won the battle. Okay, great. Let's go chase after whoever. So all of you go after these guys. And all of you go after these guys. I'm going to come over here and chase after more of them. That was a very deadly and bloody battle, but we managed to win. Let's go chase after whatever we can get. It's whatever. It doesn't matter. Go fight someone. I told you, go find a target, man. Come on. I don't know why they're having, like, a pursuing issue. But, yeah, if you look at my cab, they were the keys to that battle. Or the key. The one key. There's bodies everywhere. That was a really awful one. It was very costly. You weren't kidding. The issue, too, is that they're going to be able to outpace me. I haven't been able to have finite victories where I've completely overwhelmed them. It's really their spearmen. What little spearmen they're able to pick up or able to just hold out against me. I need to go after the VI, looks like, yeah. Alright, so we're going to... I'm not going to get slaves. That would cost too much money. If I could have a temporary peace treaty so I can go focus on the VI, that would be ideal. Let's find out if they might want to do that. I might be able to pay them off. Because if I can do that, I can go after another target and take out the VI. The VI are more important to me. I could have a peace treaty with the VI if I wanted to, but... Speak your terms. What about if I paid you? Other I feel like if I do some diplomacy, we can do that. We're going to use our money to go do that right now. For now, we'll change it up later, but for now, that will work out. Because I want to come over here before they can take VI. I'm a little bit worried about them doing that, so I'm going to combine what we have. We've got some money left. And I want to pick up more swordsmen for now. Or even hoplites, but they cost a bit more. So I'm going to take three of you guys right now. Mercenaries are very cheap, so I don't mind keeping them. Okay, let's hope they don't really go to VI, or they'll probably easily win that fight. If not, I can't go to Sisra because I need them to beat the Sabinis. Good, they're not going after them. Peace negotiated. Okay, those two are no longer fighting either. That's nice. So I didn't leave them to burn completely. Here we go, Siege Expert. Now, if you look at it, we have been able to reduce a great deal of those attritional losses when besieging or under siege. Wow. It's going to do a lot for me. Okay, let's go kind of fill things out real quick. I want to find out if we can... Yeah, we should be able to take that. I think, maybe. It won't be that easy. But I'd like to. Let me go look at it. I'm going to wait them out then. They want to come fight me on the field of battle. Let them come fight me. So we're going to use diplomacy to try to win. Otherwise, we're done for. Okay, we need to also build up over here. A civil port would give me a lot more food. Public order would go down, so I don't want that. Let's go look over here. I'm going to expand and take another villa. That's more food for me. I won't have to worry about food. Yeah, if I can just take over this entire province, I've got a chance. I've got some chance in hell to get ahead and to win. Let's find out if we can get any further. Okay, so that's a battle that I don't actually have to fight. That's nice. It's easy enough. It's small enough for me to win outright. I'm glad diplomacy is at least somewhat sensible. I mean, we fought a battle. They lost a lot. And I said, hey, I'm going to leave you alone. That's 10,000 gold. Wow. Okay. Provincial instability is rather huge. But dear God. That's way too much. I love it. We're going to have a civil war, I think, now. But I want that money, so I'm going to take it now. Ludi Romani. Instituted in the early days of the Roman Republic, the Ludi Romani was a day-long public festival held in honor of Jupiter Optimus Maximus. The celebrations began with a grand procession from the Temple of Jupiter to the, to the Circus Maximus, I nearly said Citrus, where animal sacrifices would be offered in Jupiter's name. 
The rest of the day was devoted to chariot races between skilled athletes, a dangerous and thrilling sport which rapidly became an obsessive passion for the people of Rome. Over the next four centuries, Rome prospered and the Ludi Romani grew into many days of feasting, celebrations and games, and later came to incorporate theater, dance and other forms of entertainment. By the time the Republic gave way to the days of empire, there were a number of regular Ludi held throughout the year. And the Ludi Romani had expanded into a 15-day extravaganza, so now we get more cultural influence and more public order. Well, I did need that. Good timing. So now we have 12,000 gold. And I know that a lot of it's going to repairing, but we still came out ahead from that. All right. I want to come down here now. I'm coming on down. We're going to have rebellions. I know it. But it's okay. I'm going to take care of them. It's fine. I'm going to combine who I have for now. I don't re to really recruit anyone new. Ostia, I think I'm going to upgrade you. I don't want to get rid of public order. No. So we're going to take, for now, a small farming colonia. Plus, you have two agricultural buildings anyway. You're going to be in my little bread basket. We still have more money. So I'm going to pick up now a military wharf for a port. Well, that would provide food, but... Again, squalor is not a fun thing. I would have to get a public order building later. I guess I could do that. That would be five food. I have plenty of food, though, here. Yeah, we'll just get a military port. It'll protect me. It'll be nice to have. And I still have money, too, by the way. That feels pretty good. I'm now making 1,500. Let's go look at what I can do. If we provoke a civil war, I could kill the opposition leader. That would be nice. Educate. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's go look over here. Where's me? Spread rumors. Okay, no. Secure promotion. Minus due to loyalty. I'm going to do it anyway. All right, he's now a Quaestor. If I do it again, upkeep keeps on going down. We can look at politics real quick. I'm going to probably secure loyalty. Depends on who might try to... Okay, okay, so you're not a fan. Minus 25, what about you? Okay, mercantile, thirst for power. That's pretty bad. You're not nearly as bad. So let me come over here real quick. And work on you. Here's my money for now, but at least they're a bit more loyal. And I own a great deal of the Senate, but... In six more turns, we're gonna... Oh, okay, campaign started recently, gotcha. That'll change in time. We're gonna have a pretty big fight soon. I want to provoke them, though. I think I do. Insult on... Oh, yeah. They're mad at me, right? Two more turns to go for that one. But let's end our turn now. I've got money. I'm doing okay. Yeah, Rome would become a pretty major power after all those treaties and beating their initial foes. That's what we're doing now. Okay, let's go look at technology. I want to get more replenishment for sure. Oh, that sounds really good. In Vino Veritas... But for now, let's get Jupiter Optimus Maximus. More cultural conversion. I'm going to need that for sure. I'll destroy that building. And over here, I can destroy that one too. I can't convert this one. I need more money. Well, before I do that, I suppose. Hold on. Let's go get some mercenaries so we can jump on down and go fight. If they want to play this game, let's play the game. But I'm getting Cicero today. Holy crap, maybe I'm not. Alright, so these guys are actually pretty tough. Good for them. Very proud of all of you. Let me pull back for a second and come back over here. Alright. They might go back to VI and take it. That would be annoying. But who knows, they might do that. Okay, we're gonna... Get all these hoplites real quick and end our turn. I'm gonna have a lot of money gone. I'll get rid of my mercenaries later. Let's see what they do. If they move out... I'll go get them. I hope they can't reach it in one turn. Maybe they can. I guess we'll find out, though. Oh, they're coming over here to my town. Holy crap. That's pretty dirty of them. I didn't even consider them doing that. I was like, ah. 2,000, though. I'm not going to be able to beat that out right, am I? Probably not. No. I don't think I can. I'm still going to fight it out, though. Okay, well, if they take it, we'll see what they do. Hopefully, they just loot it. But either way, they're done for now. I have a much bigger army. I'm going to go destroy them outright. 
Maybe I should have gone after them. I don't really know, but it's all good. Okay, let's have a look. They're coming after me. That's understandable. I've got my guys who are going to form up now. Let me go look at her quick. We're just going to fight in the streets, try to block off what attacks we can. Get a hoplite wall going. Swordsman, you're going to wait back here for now. A little bit behind that building. We're going to try to avoid their attacks where possible. A lot of you are going to land over here. All right, let's go land now. We're going to see how this all plays out. First off, we want all the slingers to go into guard mode. Oh boy, here they come. This should be delightful. Swordsman, I'm going to hide you over here for now. Got my extra units over here too. Let's move up. Okay, so we're looking at some levies. All right. And we're looking at a few swordsmen. 60 of them, not a lot, just a few. All right, let's see if we can do anything to our enemies now. Got a lot of them on the way. Here they come. Got my Roman hoplites here currently holding the line. I'd love to go after all their friends, all their slingers nearby. That would be nice. That would be very nice, actually. Let's come over here and attack her quick. Swordsman, I'm going to bring you out, I think, a little bit. Maybe behind them, if you can. I'm going to be able to flank a few of their friends who are coming after me. They're very annoying friends. Okay, I've got a few swordsmen that I want to bring out. If my hoplites hold, maybe we can attack them from two different directions, get some slingers to go really pound them. That would be interesting, I think. All right, let's move over here and attack a few of these guys. Got levies for it, so let's go do that. Their slingers could obliterate me if they focus fire. So hold here for now. Toggle guard. Levies are attacking a little bit. Got eight kills so far. Oh, they're coming after me. I want to move back, move back, but for now, let's go bring in out my swordsmen. Again, if my guys, if my hoplites can hold the line, that'll be fantastic. Because for now, I'm going to bring out my slingers to go obliterate them from this side. We're going to focus fire on these mercenary Etruscan axe infantrymen. They seem to be advancing towards me now, so let's kind of move back a little bit if we can. And now they're not. Let's just come over here. Swordsman, I'm going to hide you over here for now. So they can't hit you directly. The levies, they're running out of their javelins, but if you look at it, they're already killing so many of them. Now I can actually zoom in a little bit more, but yeah, I love how my hoplites are actually holding, kind of. They're kind of holding. They're having a pretty tough time still. I'll probably go flank a few more of them, but... All right, let's go attack now. We'll focus on this group right now. I'm going to bring back at least one group to go reinforce my front lines, because we're going to need the help. Oh, yeah, they're going to need the help for sure. Got a lot of slingers. 78 kills, man. That's fantastic. Go in and attack now. Go flank. At least try to help these guys hold out. Okay, let's go after these slingers too. I can go kill them as well. Oh, they're getting some point blank hits. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, just get everyone down here to sling. We're all slinging it. It's a lot of damage, hopefully. They don't attack me. I might just bring my infantry back here to help out just to keep my hoplites going. But yeah, let's move over here real quick. We need to make sure that we can hold. We're going to surge in right now just to kind of keep them going. My levies are attacking. They're flanking and they're doing okay. My slingers have already obliterated one group of slingers now. They've only gotten three kills. They're now broken. Let's go kill these guys. Oh, my sword infantry. They're still here too. Let's go after these uh, slingers from behind. Should have brought you in to reinforce. But I've got some swordsmen now to help out. They're getting a few kills too. But keep on reinforcing. Who knows? Maybe we'll make it. These axe infantrymen are dying. Slingers are still not getting a lot of kills. They're trying to block me off. They're doing a good job at doing that, I guess. For now. Holy crap. Just look at them drop, though. My slingers run out of ammo. We're done. But let's see if we can take out these guys quickly. Quickly, quickly. All right, go fight them. You broke these guys. Good work. Come over here now. Swordsmen, I kind of want you guys to just kind of move back for now and just hold it. Just in case, you know, just in case we actually just use my slingers from behind to obliterate a lot of them. I think that'll be fairly exciting. Come on, get over here. Go fight them. Go fight the slingers. And my slingers can come in now and attack these guys from behind. It's going to be sweet. If I could just kill their leader, that'd be even better. We just all hit their blasted leader. 
Because he's surging in again. He's trying to surge in really hard. Alright, so here comes all my slingers now. We're all slinging right behind them. And either way, even when they miss, they're hitting. So, even if we lose, we're going to take out a great deal of their force. Alright, how is my little swordsman? Oh yeah, they're taking out this group. Good, good, good. My swordsmen are moving in. They're like, we had to land to get here, fools. We're angry. Oh yeah, look at all these slingers slinging away. Doing a great job from behind. Alright, so we don't need to surge in yet. We're still holding. I'm so glad we had this little pass here. And that's why town battles are exciting. They can give you some room to maneuver to actually defend your guys. Nice feeling. Are you getting any kills? Yeah, you're getting some kills. Did we get their leader? Let me see. Where's he at? Italian swordsman, native Latin spearman. Italian swordsman over here. It's around here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Okay, I think we're picking up on kills now. These guys are having a pretty awful time. I mean, when you have a high speed stone, a projectile like that coming at you, you're going to lose some stuff. That's just a fact of life. I just want to chase them for a little bit to make sure they're not coming back. You killed 52. How many did you kill? 104. Good work, light hoplites. Tactically, we're stopping them. They're all engaged now. They're having a tough time getting out. If I could just kill their leader or do something over here, that would be fantastic. And look at these slingers go. There's a few of them who will continue to attack later, but... Oh, these guys have over 200 kills each. That's fantastic. If they're not able to push through yet. That's what I'm able to get through this. That's why I'm able to get through this. Oh, they're shattered now. Okay, let's bring them back now. So I'm going to bring these swordsmen like way over here, I think, somewhere. They're going to be pretty tired. I understand. I get it. All right. Oh, look at that. We've already eaten through most of them. Like once we begin to shift a little bit. Oh, my God. They are just falling apart. That's incredible. So we have won this battle. I didn't think we could win this battle, but we did. We just won it. It's over. Let's go in and fight. No, go go chase him. Go chase him now. It's time. All of you go chase him. Everyone just go have a fun time. Even you hoplites. Even you. And yeah, my hoplites did a great job. They held on so very well. Let's go. The slingers won that battle for me. These two groups here, 355, 342, they killed over 600 together. Heroic victory. Yeah, no kidding. So, that went nicely. We were able to hold out in one location and then completely overwhelm them with missile fire from their flank. They were stuck there. I was able to break them down. That felt really good. Okay, I suppose I'm going to release them for extra wealth. Just kidding. Well, I didn't really capture too many. 256, it's not a lot. So I'm going to release them for extra money. Now they're going to move back. So I get to go in and finish them off, finally. Okay, Ludi Plebi. After Rome threw off the rule of the Etruscan kings in 510 BC to found the Republic, the politics was the domain of the aristocratic patrician order, who remained distinct from the main body of free Roman citizens or plebeians. It wasn't until the conflict of the orders resolved in 287 BC that the plebs earned political representation and in many other matters equal standing with the patricians. As an assertion of pride and identity, the Ludi Plebei, or Plebeian Games, were organized and hosted by the Plebeian Adels, or Adiles. Again, I need to look this stuff up. I don't know the pronunciation, so do forgive me for those of you who do know better. Um, anyway, the Office of Public Maintenance, Order, and Festivals held annually from November 13th to the 17th at the Circus Flaminius. The festival involved a great feast to honor Jupiter Optimus Maximus, followed by days of theatrical performances, sporting competitions, and equestrian displays. So yeah, we're getting a lot of parties, so we get 20% more wealth and plus for the public order. We the common people of Rome have earned the right of celebration. Earned the right to party. I got you. There'll be more food. Public order would go down, though, if I did that. So I don't really want that building. I could convert it or destroy it. But anyway, let's come over here now. See if we can just kind of... Oh, hi there. We'll get rid of you first. Yeah, okay, we'll get rid of you. Forgot about you. Huh. And that battle is over. All right, so I'm going to release you. Again, because we're just making a lot of money. No point in not doing that. And I've captured it, so I can subjugate, but we're just going to occupy because we want to... 
I now have more Imperium. Wow, that didn't take long. Okay, so you're moving away to the very border. I'm glad they're not moving into neighboring lands. That would have been annoying, but we're going to have a nice little rebellion soon. I need to convert like all these buildings for sure. Let me go look over here. I can destroy that one. If I can't convert, I'll just destroy. Can't convert you. I don't have the money for it. Can't convert you. Hope there won't be any slums on turn one. Okay, so now I want to get rid of my mercenaries because they're costing me way too much money. I'm going to get rid of all of them. Look at that. I now have 1,500 gold coming in. Oh, right. My bad. An edict. Let's go take... Oh, plus in a party loyalty. That sounds really good. That will keep those guys from attacking me. I believe they rule that area, if I remember right. Go look at them real quick. Populist. Gotcha. All right. You're at four. These guys are very likely to attack me. I'll have to kill them. Let's end our turn now. Oh, right after I give him his new skill. My bad. And that's what I'm talking about. He's becoming a great leader. He's getting old already. Jeez. Better live forever. <laughs> All right. What else do I want down this route? Logistics. Oh, heck yeah. More replenishment and cunning. I'll take that. I can move further. I want more replenishment. These are all really great things for me. And the people of Rome. Can't forget about them. All right. So, yeah. All that money's got to go to over here to actually... Oh. Right. I need to actually spend money to demolish these buildings. All right. So, let's go and instead build a new thing over here. We're going to work with consecrated ground. All right. Fine. I guess I'll work on this location first. I got 14 food coming in now. I've got a lot of food. Food's not an issue. We have actually got a surplus of food. Oh, they're done for. Look at that. That's adorable, huh? They tried to come back over here to win a battle or two. It didn't work out, did it? Okay, we're going to release them because, hey, I don't need more slaves right now. Okay. Chapter 2. The Latin people are our cousins. The people of the mountains, on the other hand, are more of a pain in the neck than a niche. They both hold territories in immediate... Proximity to Rome, obviously, it is in their interest to partner with us and be a protective buffer. Ha, huh, funny. I'll get a spy. Okay, I now have a patrician. And I've gained, yeah, that. Uh-oh, time for a civil war somewhere. I want Latium. Latium needs to belong to me. I could probably get these guys to join me later, I think. Maybe. I need to focus on what's happening in my own lands eternally. Or internally, not eternally. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. I don't want there to be any issues, so let's go get... What do I want over here? More public order? I don't want another recruitment area, so I'm going to take more public order for now. Then with my money, I'm going to destroy this building. That's 1,000. Then over here, that building too. And I don't want to demolish anything over here. Replenishment is not great still. I'm still trying to work on that. My legion, I can make them even more. Yeah, that's pretty good for defending. What's over here? Anything for replenishment? Oh, that's for campaign movement. I'll take that. Hey, man. 18% is a pretty good amount. All right, so we're now changing things up. Things are becoming better. We're becoming more of a dominant power. If you look at it, I own 65% of all influence here. Oh, yeah, these guys, yeah, they leave that location so now they like me a lot more we're not gonna have issues with them these guys over here i'm probably gonna provoke them later i'm only protected for three more turns and then later we gotta go take care of his idiots all right let me go look at camelus real quick he's doing all right you're 32. oh you look angry lady family duty well, what am i gonna do with you anyway so a target faction we can go to the Hernessy, see if they want to join me later. The Sabinis love me. Wow. Do that real quick, wife. I'll let you go do that for me. Pretty much out of money right now. All right. Praetor upkeep goes down. Loyalty goes up. I'll work with my children in the future. I still need to learn more about how to handle the politics. I'll probably have to go like read a guide or something. That's like a thing that takes me a little bit to actually understand fully to see like what would actually be handy to use because you do get a lot of options and all that business. Feels good to actually have land. 
Okay, so we now have In Vino Veritas. We now get a celebration of the Festival of Vanalia Rustica, all provinces. Plus one for rank for all spies upon recruitment and more public order. Lord of Sky and Thunder, hear our plea. Uh-oh. Alright, cool. A new intrigue, but not a negative one. Let's get you down here. 40%, not bad, okay. Wow. Didn't know that was like a thing. Holy crap. Or I forgot about it. Being a thing. Oh, he was wounded. <laughs> okay, so he didn't make it very far. Look at all the money I have, by the way. It's fantastic. Okay, let's go over here and look at what we want. So, sanitation is going to be important, I think. I'm going to go take this over here. Practice field. Yeah, those are fine, but I'm going to take, for now, consecrated grounds over here, too. And let's see. Plus two to all agriculture. I'm not doing any food yet. Minus one food. Okay. We'll do that instead. The altar of Jupiter. Jupiter, king of the gods, watches over all men and judges their acts. We'll take that instead. And still can't convert these major locations. Not yet. Yeah, things actually aren't too bad. All things considered, we're doing okay. But what I need right now is to upgrade Rome because I need to get this building to tier 3. Or I need tactical training, I guess. That would give me a Centurii. That's fair. I guess I do need to work on this one now. I kind of have to. Let's see. Hold on. Can't grab that yet. Not going to get more dignitaries yet. I wanted to get more replenishment. Oh, boy. Okay, what else do I want? I've got, let's see, Roman Swordsman. I've got how many groups of them? One, two, three, four, three, four, five, five of them. Okay. More Italian Cav wouldn't hurt, I think. I don't really have any levies. I'm going to get rid of these guys. They're hot trash, so we're going to get rid of them. How many? I've got four groups of hop lights. Okay, it's not too bad. So those are really only my only decent units. I'm going to grab some levies, some slingers, and that'll do for now. Two of each. Whenever they flank, they end up doing a lot of damage. We'll have to change up our armies later. So, we're doing it, everyone. We're becoming a major and dominant power in the region. It'll take more time, but I think we can pull it off. Oh, this guy. I'm going to kill him eventually. Yeah, I feel like I can get these guys to come join me. If not directly, then maybe in the war. So, I need to go after this big army, then go after over here, Antium. They've got nine units of defense, but they also have a small garrison, so I've got to... Oh, you're the king. Oh, they have a king. Gross. I don't want that garbage here. Oh, the quarter's looking fine. Wow. That's a ring. It's a town center. I should just convert that later. I'll see. Want to see the public order? No, thank you. What do got an issue over here, man? All right, so we're at 15 out of 20, so we still need to recruit more. I'm going to focus on doing that for now. What do I truly want? I guess like I just want that. Minus two to public order. I don't want that. I'm kind of considering getting rid of some of these buildings. They're causing me too many issues. I guess I do need like another public order building or maybe like one for recruitment. I'm not too sure yet. I'll probably have to use like a few mercenaries to supplement my army, but we'll take more cav. It'll give me four. That's a lot. We could have a longer line of hoplites. That is true. And now we can end our turn again. We have food even during the winter. That's really what I wanted too, so I'm very happy about that. All right, yeah, these guys I just want to kill so badly. All right, Agent recovered. He's finally back. Here we go. Food shortage. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. That's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, details over here. Let's go have a look. Talented. Explorer. For this agent, I could have him move further. Wealth based adventuring. I really want to go through this side. Can't really do that to you. Can I go do anything else to other factions? Let's go find out real quick. Well, no, not directly like that. So I'm at 19 out of 20. Let's see. Plus three to cultural influence. Well, I'm going to bring you up here then. All right. Well, I need you to go change up that culture, buddy. All right. Characters plus three. 
Okay, that's beginning to go down. The taxes they're not too happy about. I don't take time to actually make them fully happy. I've got some money. I've got some money. Alright, let's see. I've got a lack of food. I need some agricultural buildings for that then. I'm going to change this up. Get some food. A civil port. Or even a public water building would help out. They're trying to get rid of my food right now. Minus one food for each of these. Okay, so either way, I'm going to need more food. That's five foods. We'll take that. Three turns to pick it up. And, uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. These guys are really cheap. Don't worry, kidding about that. Jeez. Only 77. Alright, let's end a turn again. We're about to go fight these guys once more. We got a peace treaty going on, but now I just want to see if I can go fight them. I feel like I've passed too many turns without advancing further, but... Trade agreement. Okay, they're gone. High chance of civil war. Well, I want that to happen now. I'm losing more food again. Hold on. I need to go figure out how I'm going to make more food easily. Come back over here and get that villa going, but... uh. Let's see real quick. Is another garrison? Clyde Hoplites. I already have that. I did get rid of my food building. Well, shoot. Shame on me. I'll take the villa. That'll give me two more food. I still have a little bit of money, don't I? Yeah. We're at 20 out of 20. I really want to fight this guy. This is like the big guy that I want to fight for sure. If I could just get a higher chance to ambush, that would have been nicer. I wonder... If he would fight me, like directly. All right. So let's have a look over here. Public order is still not doing that great. We still build some consecrated ground over here, and let's have a look. Oh, you're there, client state. Holy crap! People, welcome. Speak, friend. Low chance. What about if I paid you a lot of money? I don't have a lot of money. Never mind. So you joined them. Crap. That isn't good. I might be able to pay them off. We'll find out. I don't need that. I don't need those two factions fighting together. Now that would be a challenge for me. Logistics is now finally complete. I still have a food shortage. I'm still trying to work on that. One more turn for that to really work out for me. All right. Plus two food from all agricultural buildings. That's really good. We're going to take that too. I'm just trying to upgrade these areas before we move on. Okay, I have my, I nearly have my replenishment ready. We're going to wait for that too. All right, so while we do that, it's in their turn. Oh, they moved away. That didn't take long. I want to try to provoke these guys into fighting me. That's really what I want to do is to get these idiots to come after me. We've got a pretty decent risk of a civil war going on, so let's see. I feel like things should be getting easier, but they are not getting easier. We've got powers beginning to grow pretty fast, too. Oh, yeah, they've got plenty of public order over here. Wow, that didn't take long. Let's go look at her quick. Buildings, yeah, I've got plenty of buildings for that purpose alone. And we're getting rid of their cultural issues, too, so that's nice as well. We've got 1,000. I need more money than that if I want to do well. Come over here real quick. Oh, I don't care. I'm going to raid. Upkeep goes down a little bit, and I get to make some money. How's that feel, buddy? All right, we're going to end our turn again. I'm going to try to pay them pretty soon. While I'm also trying to get that rebellion going. My senses, you're fighting no one. Okay, I'll take that. It's an offer I'll go for. Here we go. Oh, there's the Volsi again. Look at all the men they have. If I could just get enough money to try to pay off the other guys to leave us alone, that would be amazing. That's why I like being able to move so far. Look at this. Hi there, enemy. Trait gained. What is that? Doctor Day. So plus two to authority for my veteran. I've encountered the Brutii. Not really. All right, they're retreating. Ah, Lysenia, you've betrayed us all. Goodbye. Publius Gerges. Gerges on his dickus. Anyway, sorry, I'm done. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> so now they're they're just dead. They're done now. Alright, we're gonna release them. More money. And that's one party done for. Guess what? Only one party left. Guess who loves me? Oh yeah. 
They love me. I now own 83% of what's going on here. Freaking idiots. Oh, where's my gravitas set? It is very, very high. Alright. So we got 2,900. I'm going to try to go break things up for these idiots now. Your people's How dare you? you. Break well your client state treaty. Alright, I'm going to pay you a lot of money. You don't have a lot of money, so you're about to have a lot of money. There we go. Your worthy proposal to those who can I don't know if I can pay them later to come join me in the war. That'd be nice. For now, they're no longer joining them, so that's all that I could use for now. So let's go begin to move down here. Oh my god, even with Force March after the fact, I can move so far. It'll be a rather protracted war. Oh yeah, see that, that's why I, I want to work on more replenishment. 5% more will be nice. One little army or not, let's just go begin to fight them. I still need to get Roman to tier 3 now. It's about time for that. So that's one civil war over. We're going to keep on converting the local area. Can I help you? Conflict with the orders. A criminal gang is running rampant, bringing chaos to the streets of Rome. Okay, so they're hosted by a patrician. I'll go talk to them. A new party is formed. Pardon me. My leader. <laughs> House of Furia. Okay. What happens if I usurp? That's weird. That's my own leader, though. All right. Whatever, man. I guess I need to, like, take care of my family or something like that. From other party. Who? That's really annoying, man. Guess you can't do that now. Too late for that. Well, crap. We are ready to do I did not expect that to happen. That's really annoying. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to... What's going to happen with that one yet? We're going to have to figure that out. Let's going to add a new layer. I thought I made it my air. I guess I forgot to. Or I thought I did. Well, shoot. It's a lot of public order. Yeah, they're plenty happy now. I've got money. I could probably begin to war pretty soon. We could begin to fight, I think. Just kind of begin to creep in just a little bit. We could just get like a little bit over here. Maybe ambush. Maybe declare war now. On the Volsi I The Volsi. Do not waste time on They're pretty aggressive, man. I think they need to die. Speak what you must and be done. If I could get one faction to help me, if I can get the Hersini to help me, that on would at least be a temporary people. aid. Speak, friend. Maybe and I can make them my client state. Let's go see. Wisdom. Okay, they'll do it. Well then, I guess we'll go to war. Honest... You are welcome. Let's go but fight. That welcome can become a farewell. Okay, these guys can come help me out. They've got, look at that, one town, but 29 units total. They can afford more than I can. That's funny. That's usually how that works out, though. So now let's get ready for a pretty big fight. I hope I can ambush him. That would be fantastic if I could. Don't know if that's going to work out, but... Oh, that dude's going to do some damage. They found out where I'm at. Two armies. That's over 4,000 units. No. They got him. What crap? Okay, House of Furia. Inspire. Who do we have over here? The old man's pretty good. Guess I'll let you come lead, old man. I don't have any heirs right now. So we'll take you. Give out food. I do have food. There we go. Yeah, they got him, man. More supply lines, too. Fantastic. All right, so they moved back, I guess. Wow, they just moved back so easily and so quickly. Let's go look over here at technology now. What are we going to pick up? I need to get better units. That much is known to me. Was it that one that I needed? No, it was one of these somewhere. Hold on. We got to check it out real quick. So I need technical training. Okay. We have it here. That's what I need. I'll begin to work on that. Trying to come attack is quite difficult whenever they have that many armies. Holy crap, dude. Alright. Let me have a look real quick. What am I going to do about that? Do I lose if they take over? I actually haven't dealt with this too much. I'm trying to figure it out real quick. 
Let's see. You're my character, though. You're in my family, so that would be weird if we had a... It's your brother, dude. Could you just make you my heir, but... I wanted to make one of you my heir, but uh, let's see. I guess you'll be my heir. Which one? I don't know which one's going to be better. You're 12. You're 13, so... Okay, we kind of know. That's going to be my new heir. You're the heir to the dynasty. All right. That might cause more issues for later. If I didn't declare an heir, then maybe it would be okay. If, mm, maybe that would have been a better choice. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we got this guy fighting now. He's 51. Okay, he's kind of comparable in age. Who did you marry? Zill? Oh, that's good. You like to lead armies? Is that what you like to do? Okay. She's married now. You're not married. I need to get you married one day. I don't know what I'm going to do with you now. Suicide. Oh, crap. For non-ruling party members. It's too high. Ah, oh, okay. So if their gravitas is too high, they won't do that. Can't believe that happened to me, though. That's so annoying. I'm very angry at, at myself for not paying attention to that. Alright, so how am I going to even do this, man? The only way that I would be able to do it is if I ambush them, but if they... I don't have a high chance, like a high enough chance to really get that going, I guess. Alright, let's come over here real quick. It's going to be a tough one to break a little cellmate that I got to get rid of. Come over here then. Go fight something, man. Go take something. I'll probably even kill them later after I win this initial war. Let's see if they actually go do something. The woods would probably keep them from being able to quickly get to Anagni, but we'll see. They're not doing anything yet. Ready to command. He's back. Indifferent patricians. Content plebs. Okay. Eight turns. Hey. Everything worked out. Everything freaking worked out. Now this dude has a lot of gravitas. Holy crap. He's a consul tribune right now. This guy's a champ. You're not nearly as good in your combat scenarios. All right, let me get a look at things real quick. Yeah, it could be better. It could be better. Let me get a look at her quick. Promoted characters, marriage, other factors. Yeah, we're connected by marriage. Where is he at? He doesn't have a lot of control. We're protected for a period of time. Well, that's good, I guess. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, so I can't really do as much with him now. I guess when he dies, we could take back over. Yeah, we'll take back over with his son because he's going to not be here forever. Let's see. So you can't really do too much either. I don't really want to do much with any of you. You're doing your own thing right now. Yeah, I guess I will need to bring him back. Let's replace. Where is he at? There he is. Okay. It's a shame, though. Really a shame. Should have worked on my ambushing skills. But yeah, again, they're just like all here. And I can't really move away or we're going to have more issues than before. Upkeep goes down if I do that. Cicero is still completely fine. Holy crap, are they fine. That's more food and wealth. More replenishment too. I'm keep my money where it's at though. Let's end our turn again. We're just waiting for any type of shift. If I can get those blasted allies of mine to move up, that'd be all that I need. I, I just can't beat all of these guys. They're going to bring out everything to come fight me. So that's where the difficult... Oh, hello. Graka. Nope. Stop it. Come back, buddy. Again, everyone's happy. Those are two crazy events. And a lot of factions are being destroyed. I don't, I don't even know what's happening around here. Oh, here we go. Here's a big fight. That's going to be a nice start. Could I beat? the? It's 27 still. That stupid dignitary is so powerful, man. Okay, let's try it again. Even a fortification might do it. I might be able to hold that out. All right, let's see. What would be beneficial for the team? Let's have a look. It's cunning. It's for my veteran, anyway. If I come over here... 
We're not using that really. Authority. More experience. Upkeep goes up for this guy. If we get Eva Katis, 1,000. Wow. New thank you. Intimidating. I kind of like that. For all infantry base units. Demoralized army. Zil. All right. Let's go for intimidating. After we grab this over here. They'll probably get you to go do some stuff. Not a high chance to assassinate. We've got some money though. Let's go after the town. I can go raid it, cause some issues. All right, let's see if he succeeds. It's my only veteran. My agent actions do not go well. I have come to that conclusion. Let's bring you down too, buddy. His agent's doing very well. All right, let's enter turn now. 392 BC. Let's see if the Anagni actually go fight them appropriately. That's one little army gone. Let's see if they actually beat him up. So far, no, no. Lemuria. Did I read this one already? I think I did. Anyway, it's happening again. I'd like to go after one of you. Can I go after your friends nearby? Let's find out. Can't quite destroy him. I'm going to move to the middle then. We're trying to move around to get over there, but crap. All my lands are completely happy, though. Awesome. Minus two to public order. I could do that. Make some more money. I don't want to go kill this guy off. So, yeah, they're not even moving out right now. What the hell are you guys doing? You have 40 units? Oh my god. One location, 40 units. That's completely incredible. I have a feeling after I win this war, though, I might be able to finally do some cool stuff. Oh crap. Is he going to win my leader again? He's very good at it. Some crappy patrician. I think I wouldn't trust him after that. I'll be like, hey, get away. Can I help you? Check that out. Less exhaustion from fatigue for all land units. More melee attack skill, melee defense, and we can now build a costume. Or soon. I need more money. All right. I can't do that at all. Wow. I know there's not like a high chance, but if I manage to get their leader, that would be really cool. I doubt it, but... Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it! Holy crap! That's a big army that we're about to get. After that, we can patch up and maybe go attack down here. Won't be easy, but we could probably do it. Hi there, idiot! Oh, that feels good. Hmm. You know what? We're just going to take the big advantage. I don't always do this, but I really feel the need to. I have fought enough large battles. I just want to have a win today, all right? 937. I'm going to enslave a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit of an enslaving. Okay, now we can get rid of them. 93%. Oh, that feels good. That felt very nice. I feel much better now. Sure, I'll release you, buddy. Don't you fret. Okay, replenishment's actually much higher now, so we can actually patch up pretty fast. Nice work. Okay, you crazy old guy. I'm gonna probably wipe out your family one day, just to let you know. <laughs> Master Tactician. Cool, second win. We can grab that. There's a lot of really cool stuff out here. But for now, let's grab that. Boom. Upkeep goes down, cunning goes up, second wind. That's a group ability. Alright. I've got the money to recruit more stuff, so I could even combine. That's two. Let's see. What am I missing then? Got my levies. That's two horsemen that I'm missing. Maybe some swordsmen. Take more of those guys. Okay, so these guys are not nearly as plentiful. I think we've done enough to win our initial engagements. So when we're back, we'll get ready. And hopefully in our next episode, we can finally make it pretty far. We finally got the VI. That took a lot of work. That was really hard. So now we're going to try to come down here and fight. Um, let me know what to do about this stuff for those of you. I, again, I haven't played Rome 2 in forever. So I'm clearly going to make a lot of mistakes. And I don't like doing that 
But hey, it's what's happening. So just kind of let me know. And um, yeah, he's getting more influence as time goes on. How I could switch things back over. I guess I could... Does he like choose his own air? Maybe he does. He's a concert tribune. I should have had you do your thing. You're 52. I could switch it up now if I really wanted to. You're the family leader, but you're the consular tribune. I just didn't know that they could form up their own political house like that if they were under my own family. I thought it would be okay, but now I know. It's a bunch of horse crap. Ugh. All right, let's see. Send gift. Do a favor. There you go. All right, everyone, so leave a like and comment down below and look forward to more stuff later. And as always, until then.